Number one, what is the legacy of this uh, dictator? Remember, this is the, the uh, most barbaric, most corrupt, um, most savage dictatorship in the history of our hemisphere. One, uh, and what is the legacy of that dictator? Separated families. Over a million Cubans have left the island. Over 100,000 Cubans murdered uh, by, in the, in one way or another, by the Cuban dictatorship. Um, uh, many Americans, by the way, also murdered and tortured by the Castro regime, a regime that is known for some like to claim that, that he's done some good things, when in fact all that it has caused is sadness, is tragedy, is death, is terrorism and narco-trafficking. That is the legacy of Fidel Castro. So the other thing that I'm reminded of is that it's a regime that it's on its last legs. The dictator Fidel Castro was 90 years old and nature took care of him. His brother is getting close to that age and nature, if nothing else before that, will take care of him as well. So I'm reminded of all those who say it's such a good investment, such a great idea to do business with the Castros, that uh, you are doing business and you're betting on a failed dictatorship that it's on its last legs. And thirdly, I'm also reminded of all of those folks who have done so much and continue to do so much to fight for the day, the inevitable day, of a free and democratic Cuba. Today, in the island, uh, pro-democracy activists are being rounded up, they're being beaten up, they're being arrested. But ultimately, just like it happens everywhere throughout history, ultimately, there will be that final day when the dictatorship of the Castro brothers is no longer reality, when it will be put in the dust heap of history, and when the Cuban people will enjoy the ultimate freedom, freedom and democracy. And our role, our job, is to continue to work with the true representatives of the Cuban people in the island, those who are fighting and working towards democracy, and to make sure that we continue the pressure on that dictatorship until the Cuban people are absolutely and totally free. That day is coming, and today it's a reminder of how inevitable it is that the Castro dictatorship will soon enough be a thing, a nightmare of the past. Esta ocasión me recuerda de varias cosas. Primero me me recuerda del Okay, you're just listening to Mario Diaz Balart again giving his statements on the death of Fidel Castro. And he, like Congresswoman Ileana Ross Leighton, did not pull any punches in their analysis of Fidel Castro's reign in Cuba.